Good evening, folks. This is Lee from JNL Shooting Academy. Just want to do a real quick video about some of the guns that uh, I carry. They're, they're designed for concealed carry. They come in the compact, subcompact variety. Um, just kind of give you an idea of comparisons of size, things of that nature. Uh, considerations behind why each firearm was purchased, those kinds of things. And we'll talk about some of the similarities and some of the differences. So let me set this camera up some kind of way to where I can show you each one individually. Um, but we're going to start up here in the upper left. This is the Smith & Wesson CSX. It's a double stack 9mm subcompact. We've got the SIG P938, which is a single stack subcombat 9 millimeter all right over here we have the taurus g2c double stack 9 millimeter compact we've got the sig 365 macro the hollow sun sight which is double stack 9 millimeter compact and then over here we've got the smith and wesson ez and 380 okay and it has an eight round single stack magazine uh, there are pros and cons to each one of these guns i may not cover them all um but we're, we're gonna see what we can come up with right quick let me uh twist this camera around to where i can work it here for just a second y'all bear with all right so let's talk about the smith and wesson csx and by the way all these guns are clear as you can see i've got the magazines out those kinds of things all right, uh, this particular farm, there we go, that's much, much gooder. Much gooder, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Uh, you got your Smith & Wesson CSX. Very similar control-wise uh, to your 1911s. So, there's your safety. Allows you to carry locked and cocked, okay? The sight's on it, standard little three-dot sight, Okay. What I like about this is you got a subcompact gun with 12 round magazine capacity, okay? Now the one thing I don't like about this particular design of Smith, you gotta have this little adapter on there to kind of make up the gap when you put the magazine in. I mean, it's more of an annoyance than it is anything to, for me. Um, but it does have a 12 round magazine capacity, which gives you a fairly decent amount of ammunition uh, in such a small gun. Now let's compare it to SIG's variety of it with the 938. Now SIG also makes this in 380 and it's the SIG 238. All right. Uh, again, subcompact 9 millimeter. And again, 1911 style controls. Pop thumb safety up and we're good to go. Now the difference being, and then when, here's our sights. All right. Good set of three dot sights. Okay. Now some of the difference between the SIG and the Smith, the SIG compared to the Smith only has one side for the magazine kit or for the slide catch, whereas with the CSX it's ambidextrous. Same thing with the thumb safety, ambidextrous. Whereas the SIG is ambidextrous on the thumb safety, but not the slide lock. All right. The magazine for the SIG, just like so. Now they do make. An extended magazine that can hold more than eight rounds um, that you can get for the, the 938. I've got one somewhere, but this is normally the standard magazine I carry in mine, and I usually carry um, one in and two spare everywhere I go. That's just me. You do you, I do me. Uh, I'm a firm believer, you know. I'm, you might need that second or third magazine why do you need so many magazines well first one might fail who knows i mean those statistics they usually don't go through the whole magazine but you never know all right moving along now we've got the taurus g2c okay uh again it's got a decent set of sights all right slide catch is only on the left hand side and it has this particular one has a thumb safety uh, with the Taurus line. Sometimes you can get them with or without the safety, I believe. All right. 
Now this is a double action. All right. And also has the trigger safety, this little shoe right here. Now, the real reality is you got to have your whole finger on the trigger for it to work. The only way you're going to not do that is if you're only using your fingernail to try and pull back. You're just gripping the side of this thing. See, it's not going anywhere. But when I put it on here, now it goes all the way back. But either way it goes. But in comparison to, say, the... Um, let's see if I can get this to stand up. Let's see. There we go. There's one. There be two. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody gonna say, you're gonna damage your guns. Well, beauty about it is I bought and paid for them, so they're mine to damage. Alright, what I'm trying to do here, and I normally have a filming assistant, but um, he is preoccupied with his new girlfriend, so it is what it is. Alright. That's these first three right here. Now, you can see that the Taurus G2C is a little bit longer and fairly a little bit thicker. CSX and the 938, by comparison, are almost the same in width. Okay. All right. And about the same length, except for the Smith. Again, it has that larger magazine well for a double stack magazine. Same thing with the Taurus, okay? Now, out of all these, this was my second semi-automatic compact handgun I bought. I carried it for a while. Now I use it mostly when I'm teaching classes. Um, now, moving right along, we have the Smith & Wesson Easy and 380, and I got this for the Mrs., okay? Again, you've got slide release on the, only on the left hand side it does come with an ambidextrous thumb safety okay but like a, a 1911 this has a grip safety okay so it's not going to do anything unless i've got that grip in okay so without that pressed in that's not going to do anything now what i like about the ez that's where it gets its name from it does not take much to rack this gun, all right? You can see right here, I can take this on the side of the table. I get that sight and line up on the edge. Look at that. All right. I got, like I said, I got it for the wife. She's got arthritis in her hands and her joints, so that worked out for her. It's got a fairly slim profile, okay? It's considered a compact, but if I'm not mistaken, the barrel is a, almost four inches. Let's see. Uh, one, one, two, oh, three inches, excuse me. Okay. And it's not a bad gun. The drawback to it, though, only eight rounds, 380, all right? But for someone with weak hands, joint issues, that kind of thing, grip issues, this is a, a good gun to go with, all right? And that brings me now to the SIG 365 Macro, okay? It's double stack. 17 rounds, all right. Hold 17 rounds in this magazine, okay. Uh, now, again, slide release is only on the left hand side, all right. There are no external safeties on this gun. This is the safety. You keep the booger hook off the bang switch, and the gun don't go boom. Um, I have to look and see. I don't think SIG makes model with a thumb safety. Maybe they do, because certain states require them, and I don't know if SIG modifies their guns like Smith & Wesson does. I know with Smith & Wesson, you can get some guns with or without safeties on them. But anyway, folks, I just want to share that with you tonight, just to, you know. Uh, and the other part, too, in those states that are communist, that only allow you to have a magazine with 10 or less rounds in it, okay, this little gem right here comes in handy, because why? It only has an eight-round magazine. Same thing with this one, all right? And it's in a compact package. That way you don't have to go buy some modified magazine for these other guns that limit them to 10 rounds because of the communist laws of certain states. 
um, you know, not to mention, you know, you know, states like California, Washington State. Oh, did I say those out loud? I sure did. But anyway, folks, I want to share this with you tonight. Just kind of some of my compacts and subcompacts that I carry from time to time. And certain reasons. These are great for when I have to dress a little more formal. Okay. Uh, and it does not allow me the option to carry with a shirt untucked. With this, you know, I can hide very well in a sports coat or a blazer, uh, nice and tucked away, and still be armed to protect myself. Um, this is one of the first guns I started using for concealed carry when I got my concealed carry permit. It served the purpose. It filled the void. It's still a good gun to this day. It's accurate. It's got a fairly decent magazine capacity. Um, I use it in a lot of my, my teaching. Smith & Wesson EZ in 380. Now, they also make this a 9mm and 30 Super Carry. Okay. Uh, it's a great option for somebody who's got weak wrist or grip issues, things of that nature. It's a very good gun. Sights on it are typical Smith & Wesson sights, which are very good in my opinion. Okay. Uh, it's a very good shooting gun. And then that brings us finally to the SIG 365 Macro. This is... This is pretty much my one of my everyday carries for the most part. It to me, it's a, it's a compact with the feel of a full size handgun. Um, just it's so it's just so comfortable to hold, grip, and shoot. Uh, I've, I've shot a lot out of this gun. It's an enjoyable to shoot. Uh, like I said, I've got a hollow sun sight on here right now. Don't ask me the nomenclature. That's uh, it's, it's a. HS 507K for anybody knows what all that means. I, my son recommended it, so I got it. Um, but in the event the, the dot goes out, SIG is all their firearms, their sights are awesome. Uh, the iron sights on this thing, I didn't have to, you know, they were already good to go when I bought the gun and, and shot it. So, anyway, folks, this is, Jane, this is Lee from JNL Shooting Academy. Hope you got something out of this tonight. Um, stay tuned next week when we come back out again next week with our drill of the week with Tom Green and uh, hopefully we're going to bring in a couple of our other, other business partners and uh, show you some additional drills of the week so just keep stay tuned to the channel folks as we bring more content uh, and, and as we evolve we appreciate you y'all take care